Good afternoon and happy Sunday to everyone. It is April 3rd. Uh, as you can see, I've got the sun beating in on me right here, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to stay leaned forward here. I think that helps. Uh, but let's dive right in. We are in Psalm 14. That means we are in 14 weeks of uh, the year 2022 because I started this the first Sunday of the year. So we have been through 14 weeks of Psalms, 14 weeks of the year. Uh, so let's dive right in and let's see what Psalm 14 has. Got, not going to lie, this one was a little harder to get stuff out of for me. Uh, maybe you guys got something out of it that you can share with me. <laughs> but let's dive right in. It says, The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. You know, and I feel like in our world now, that that's just sometimes what God does is he looks down and he's like, who? Because our, our world is crazy, guys. It is, and we know that. So I feel like sometimes God just looks down and he's like, who are my followers? Um, and, you know, I want him to look at me and say, that's a follower. That one... That, that Jordan follows God. Jordan follows me. Uh, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. There's no one who does good. Not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on the Lord. But there they are, overwhelmed with dread. For God is present in the company of the righteous. You evildoers frustrate the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. I feel like we've said this a lot, that God is our refuge. I think that that's been something that has continued to come up uh, uh, chapter after chapter, is that God is our refuge. And if I'm going through something, God's the only one I want as my refuge. God's the one that I want to be able to go to in times of trouble. He's the refuge that I want. Verse 7, Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. And you know something that, came, that I read out of the study Bible was, um, let me just find it. Um, the prayer concludes with firm hope. When the Lord restores his people. It's not an if the Lord restores his people. It's a when. When he restores his people. God is faithful. God will come through time and time again. He always does and he always will. That is Psalm 14. Like I said, kind of hard for me to grasp stuff out of that. You guys might have gotten some out of, something out of it that I didn't, and I would love to hear it uh, because I think that's how we learn is sharing ideas. And so I would love to hear it if you got something out of it that I didn't. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Have a great start to your week. Hope your week goes good. If not, you've got seven days. I promise you in those seven days, something will go good. Something will. It's our job to make the good outweigh the bad. So everyone, go have a great week. And of course, go be the example.